my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode. Oh. Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. Hi guys. Ooh, How hello. are you? Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, now, what's going on? What's going on? Chilly just or? Salubrious. Mm. I don't know. I just like the bright colours. I think it sets off his lack of eyes. It just set off his lack of eyes. <laughs> it does. It just makes that blackness pop. Look- like <laughs> how are you everybody hi guys thanks for joining us again mm, yes today we've got two questions um to do with embalming do we yes we do Ooh. the first question is from kim and it's um regarding a documentary on body donation for science medical research that yeah. sort of thing kim watched a documentary and um, commented to us that she was surprised uh, at how the body looked, um, yeah. that it didn't look as she expected. expected. Um, and then just to tag on to that, because I think the two are going to fall into the yeah. same category, we had another question from Joe, and Joe asked, can you over embalm a body? Mm. Uh, so, Tracy, yes. can you answer these two lovely ladies' questions? I shall. Please? So, hi, Kim and Joe. Um, the question is, the documentary I did watch just to see, well, to watch it and now check out what the body looked like because I did show you an embalm on that documentary. What it's, did the body look like? Um, the body uh, beforehand went because it was interviewing the um, two um, a, a man and a woman who were dying who were terminal, uh, and interviewing them in life through the journey before to when they, they died. donated yeah, their bodies. Before they and they had both donated the bodies to medical science. Um, so it was a little skinny little man who was dying of cancer. I think it was brain tumor he had, I think, but you know, don't quote don't me on quote that because that. that might be, oh. um, anyway, he, it was fine. And after the body was embalmed, he was about three, four times bigger than he was. Oh, really? Me. Yeah. So wow. to answer Joe's question, that's over embalming a body. So he was over embalmed and to ask, answer Kim's question. No, the bodies don't normally look like that for viewings and families. When you do it. When we do and then bomb, it, they don't do that. So um, hang on, why did he get bigger? What made him bigger? The fluid? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah. So the reason um, the reason that gentleman was over embalmed and he was embalmed with the three basic chemicals that you use in embalming. And if you watch that documentary, it tells you it all. And it's just very basic chemicals. I'll see if I can link to that documentary yeah, in the comments yeah, below. It's like the formaldehyde and all. It's just the very harsh chemicals. And there's gallons of it goes in, you know, litres of the fluid. As well, when we do a one for family viewings and bolts and burials and all of that, we calculate the height, the weight, to the amount of fluid that will need to go into the body. Um, and for whether or not the strength has to be strong because it's an internment or it's a... Yeah, Depending on how long it has yeah, to last. Yeah, a repat right. or if it's just a couple of weeks or, or what. So it depends on the kind of chemical you use, the strength of the chemical you use, the volume of the chemical And the you size use, of the person. And the size of the person. So for the gentleman that donated his body to medical science, his body was going um, to be used for um, over a period of a year for the um, anatomy students. Mm-hmm. You know, so the anatomy students were going to cut his body open, open it open, look at the organs. So it had, it had to be over embalmed for and with a strong solution to preserve it for a long time, because it's going to be in and out of uh, refrigeration, to re- preserve it for a long time. And also it needed to be inflated bigger. So they make the, the tissues, they flood the tissues with chemicals to enlarge everything. Right. So it pads up, because when you're a little skinny old man and you you, you know you're a little messy, you can't really get into no, all of the all organs bone. and it's all bones. So they they're purposely over embalmed the body. Right. Okay. So it's on purpose. Okay, now hang on. You mentioned an interesting thing just then, which we've had a question about before, and I think we've already answered it, but we'll touch on it again. Mm. And you said, because he'll be in and out of the fridge. Yeah. Do you have to refrigerate an embalmed body? Uh, you don't uh, have to refrigerate an embalmed body. Uh, there's reasons you will and you won't. So if I embalmed a body that's going to be held for a couple of weeks, 
I'll, I'll probably won't put it in the fridge because it doesn't need refrigerating right. because I'll have, I will, I will have calculated the strength of the person to be uh, embalmed to last a few weeks or a bit more. Yep. And so I just keep an eye on them and make sure that, you know, there's, the no, clean, deterioration. there's no deterioration, okay. moisturising the skin constantly. Yep. That's right, we have we have yeah. touched on this. And I will do, link to that video. Yeah. And if we do put them in the fridge, we still have to moisturise and still have to check for condensation and everything like that. Right, so, okay. Yeah, but right. um, he was definitely over embalmed. So Kim, he would, you know, he, he wasn't for viewing as in the family were going to view him or the because you know, obviously if you did it like that for a viewing everybody go oh he didn't look like that oh, that's right because he didn't look like no. him and i watched it and went yeah i can totally understand why kim thought that because i was going whoa yeah they've definitely over embalmed that body and that's the reason um we can when we're doing embalmings in the mortuary for viewings and things over embalm by accident you know sometimes you know you put putting the fluid in um, and you're putting it down say the brachial because you want to do this arm and then sometimes if you're not careful you might over embalm the fingers and they go a little bit more puffy than you want them to and you go oh and you just mass if you massage it down you will get it down and sometimes we might over embalm the eye a little bit or the lips but it, don't panic because usually after about 12 hours don't it, panic people <laughs> don't panic if you do it don't panic <laughs> it usually uh, subsides and settles right down. But Good this gentleman know. was way over right. embalmed. Okay. It would not, you know, come yeah. down. There's Interesting. All, over embalming and being exaggerated for the, the fact that he was um, going to be uh, in the anatomy uh, labs for a long time. Um, so it was a fascinating uh, documentary and it was good for Kim. Yeah, you love one if you ever wanted them, ever <laughs> seen anybody. Hopefully they wouldn't look like that at the viewing. Good. Hopefully. Good to yes. know. All so, right, yeah. thanks Trace. That's no awesome. Problems. So that's us okay. for today. That's it. Yes. All right. Oh, yes. Thanks Thank for joining you. us everybody. And Don't thanks forget, for I'll link to that documentary down below yeah, if I'll you're interested in seeing it. Apparently it's a bit of a tearjerker. I haven't oh. seen it yet. And there's two episodes, so you know, yes, just watch it, Trish. Get your hankies out because oh. it is definitely a tearjerker. I cried all the way through. It's really sad because you're watching them from yeah, all the way through, all the way through to them die and then donating their bodies to science and everything and all of that. Interesting, though. Yeah, my mm. mother in law's uh, going to donate her body to medical science too. Good on you, Audrey. Yes. Well is. done, Audrey. Yeah. So, Doing yeah. her bit for the world. She is. Yeah, she always saying it. She said it for years. Thanks, guys. Okay, Take thank care. You. Stay Take safe. Care. Oh, I'm fully vaccinated. Yeah. I'm half vaccinated. Half as. Half as. What's half that? Vaccinated. Half as. Half what vaccinated. Because I've got to wait longer for my second vax. Even though I had my first one before you. It's because I'm old. I've had, the, I've had the old vaccination for the old people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, stay safe, guys. Take Go and get it. your jabs. Stay yeah, safe. See stay ya. Safe. Bye. Bye.